Hello everyone. Welcome to my presentation. I am Sangeeta studying in Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about the concepts regarding operating systems. What is operating system? An operating system is a collection of a software systems that manages the hardware resources and provides common services to the computer programming. And the operating system is the most important system software of the computer systems. Today we are going to discuss about few contents. Deadlocks, necessary conditions for a deadlock, resource allocation graph, deadlock prevention, deadlock avoidance, deadlock detection, deadlock recovery, banker's algorithm, ostrich algorithm and the conclusion. What is a deadlock? A deadlock in operating system occurs when two or more processes are unable to proceed because each is waiting for the other to release a resource. It is a state where no processes can complete its task because every other process is holding the resources it needs. Deadlocks are a serious concern in resource allocation and can lead to system failure if not properly managed. Necessary conditions for a deadlock. The first condition is mutual exclusion. Processes claim exclusion control over the resources they are allocated. Hold and wait. Processes hold allocated resources while waiting for additional resources. No preemption. Resources cannot be forcibly removed from a process holding them. Circular weight. A cycle of processes exist, each waiting for a resource held by the next process. The cycle. Resource allocation graph. Process nodes. Represented by the circles or nodes in the graph, each denoting a process in the system. Resource edges. Directed edges from process to resource to indicate a process is holding a resource. Deadlock detection. Graph cycles are used to detect potential deadlocks and takes appropriate action. Deadlock prevention. How can we prevent deadlocks? The first one is concurrency control. Simultaneous access to resources must be regulated to prevent conflicting processes. Resource allocation policies. Strategically allocate resources to process to minimize the possibility of deadlock occurrence. Preemptive measures. Allow the system to preempt resources from processes to avoid potential deadlock situations. Deadlock avoidance. Safe states. Identify and monitor system states that are guaranteed to be deadlock free. Banker's algorithm. Algorithm NGRs safe state allocation and resource release to prevent deadlock occurrences. Dynamic resource allocation. Understanding and dynamically adjusting resource requirements to avoid deadlock situations. Deadlock detection. How we can detect the deadlock? A resource matrix approach. Algorithm detection, system monitoring. These are the three types of detecting deadlocks. Resource matrix approach. Utilize resource allocation matrices to identify potential circular wheels and cycles. Algorithmic detection. Implement algorithms to search for circular weights and identify processes involved. System monitoring. Continuously monitor resource utilization and waiting processor for deadlock indicators. Deadlock recovery. Process termination. Terminate one or more processes to break the deadlock and free up the required resources. That means at a time there should not be more than a one process. If we terminate one process after each work, then there will be no a problem of deadlocks. So we can free up the resources and the other process can easily Proceed. Resource preemption. Preempt resources from processes to resolve the 
deadlock and injure system stability. Rollback. Rollback to a previous checkpoint to release locked resources and reduce system functionality. Rollback is we need to check all the processors where the process is locked. So we need to go and resume there so that the, all the processor can proceed in a cycle wise. Banker's algorithm. It is an algorithm introduced to avoid the deadlock. Safe state calculation. In banker's algorithm, we will calculate the safe state. That means which process should uh, proceed first and which proceed the next. Determine if a state is safe and can allocate resources without leading to a deadlock. A resource hazard detection. Identify potential resource allocation scenarios that may lead to deadlocks. Dynamic resource allocation. Adaptively allocate resources to prevent deadlock conditions while ensuring system efficiency. So this is one of the example for deadlock avoidance using banker's algorithm. There are five processors namely P0, P1, P2, P3 and P4. Here it, can, it is in a form of pi is to 3 matrix where it consists of allocation, maximum and available. The allocation for P0 process is 0, 1, 0 and the maximum is 7, 5, 3 and available is 3, 3, 2. Here before going to see the safe state, we need to calculate the need of a process. The need can be calculated by using a formula need of ij is equal to maximum of ij minus allocation of ij. Here we can subtract for p process 0, 7 minus 0, 5 minus 1 and 3 minus 0. So here the need will be 7, 4 and 3. This is the matrix of need for process 0. Likewise, we need to do for all the 5 process and we need to compare it with a available to find a safe state. How to calculate a safe state? Here we, it consists of m is equal to 3 and n is equal to 5. Where n, there are 5 number of processors and 3, there are 3 number of resources for each processor. That is A, B, C. These 3 are the 3 resources of 5 processors. Work is equal to available. Here we are we are equaling the available to work. So finish 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we need to check, we need to calculate the need by using the formula. And then we need to uh, calculate it with work. Need is greater than our work, then it is not a safe state. If need is less than work, then it is a safe state. So first i is equal to 0 that is process id 0. Its need value is 7, 4, 3. It is greater than available that is 3, 3, 2. So the process p0 must wait. Next the process 1. The need of the process 1 is 1, 2, 2. So it is less than the available 3, 3, 2. So P1 must be kept in a safe sequence. So we can keep the P1 in a safe sequence and the P0 process must wait. Likewise, we need to calculate for all the process. So next work is equal to work plus allocation. Here allocation is 2, 0, 0. So the work is equal to 5, 3, 2. That means we added this work to the above available. Available is work 332. We added P1 to a safe sequence. So the allocation is 2, 0, 0. Now we need to add work and allocation. We will get a new work as 532. Now we need to keep these and we need to calculate the other need. We need to compare this work with other needs. Next, I is equal to 2. For the process 2, the need value is 600. Zero. It is greater than the work. So, the P2 must wait. P3, the need is less. So, P3 must keep kept in a safe sequence. 
Now again we need to add this allocation, this need to the work. So the new work is 7, 4, 3. We need to compare that with 4. Now the need of 4 is less than the work. So P4 must be kept in a safe sequence. Again, we need to add the value of P, a need 4 to the work. The new work is 7, 4, 5. And we need to check for I0 again. Now 7, 4, 3 is less than 7, 4, 5. Now the P0 must be kept in a safe sequence. Next, we need to check for process 2 for I is equal to 2. 600 zero is less than 755. So the P2 must be kept in a safe sequence. Now all is true means all the need is less than the work. So the safe sequence here is P1, P3, P4, P0 and P2. That means here no need of waiting for one process. So first one, the process which have safe sequence if the, if the process is proceed in the safe sequence, then we can avoid the deadlock. Ostrich algorithm. Resource negotiation. Allow processes to negotiate resource allocations and avoid potential deadlock scenario. Dynamic priority adjustment. Adjust process priorities in real time to prevent deadlock occurrences. Intelligent deadlock prediction. Implement predictive models to force potential deadlocks and take preemptive measures. Conclusion. Understanding and mitigating deadlocks by understanding the conditions and strategies. Real world relevance. Continuous innovation. Thank you.